Okay, this little video is going to show you how to use the online evangelism resource library. We've put together a huge library of resources, evangelism resources, which are all free. And basically, they're all online. Uh, so the library contains all you need to create a culture of evangelism at your church. In other words, when evangelism becomes a natural part of everyone's day in your church. All right. So the first thing I want you to do is purchase a jumbo folder and then a box of plastic document covers and then some ring binder dividers. Now what you're going to do is you're going to download all the documents inside the library and create an evangelism team leader's guide. So this will be something your evangelism team leader uh, has and which they can refer to all the time as they're um, training and um, helping people develop an evangelism in your church. So there's one, two, three, four steps to follow. Step one is to go to the website, churchdnachange.com, and then uh, look for the resources uh, tab. And then there'll be a drop down um, list from the resources tab and you'll select seminar attendees. And step three is to enter the password mark 1615. Now, that'll take you to step four. So you'll be in the library. Then once you're in the library, just follow steps one and two. Now here, this is what you're going to be seeing when you, when you go in there. And with my mouse, I want to show you something down here. Here's step one. See, it says step one. There's a video I want you to watch called How to Mobilize 100% of the People in Your Church for Evangelism. It's a 36-minute video. And so just work through those one, two, three, four little bullet points in step one. And then uh, what I want you to do is to begin to start downloading and printing the documents into your Evangelism Team Leaders Jumbo folder. Um, and then occasionally, from time to time, check to see if the version of the document in your jumbo folder is the latest version. Now, on the bottom of every document, at the bottom right-hand corner, there'll be a little version number. So when we put a new document up on the library, we change the version number so you can have a quick look and just check that you've got the, the latest one. Okay, God bless you. Thank you so much for watching.